Kumusta kayo mga learners? Tayo pa rin ay nasa third quarter at nasa week 4 na tayo. Ang ating topic ngayon, representing quantities and solving problems. After going through this lesson, you are expected to represent quantities in real life situations using algebraic expressions and equations and solve routine and non-routine problems involving different types of numerical expressions and equations. In your previous lesson, you have learned how to translate verbal phrases into mathematical symbols. In this lesson, you will practice translating from real world connection and situations. Let's first have a review. What is an algebraic equation? And what is an algebraic expression? An algebraic equation is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign which shows that two expressions on either side are equal. An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that uses variables, numerals, and operation symbols. Let's take a look at this example. Arkin buys 5 boxes of face mask for 80 pesos each and 7 face shields at 6 pesos each. He gives the cashier a 1,000 peso bill. Write an expression for the total cost she buys and an equation for the amount of change she will receive. Let's use variable to represent the price of each item. Let M be the price of each box of face mask which is 80 pesos. N be the price of each face shield which is 6 pesos. P be the amount of change. Now translate the prices. 5 boxes for 80 pesos each plus 7 face shields at 6 pesos each. 5M plus 7N. Algebraic expression 5N plus 7N, this represents the total cost of the 5 boxes for 80 pesos each and 7 pay shields at 6 pesos each. 1,000 pesos minus the total cost of items is the amount of change. So 1,000 minus the sum of 5M and 7N equals P. And this is the algebraic equation. Let's consider this problem. Arvin is a newly hired nurse in a private hospital in Bailaguna. As a policy of the hospital, he should wear a PPE or personal protective equipment. He was given a clothing allowance of 15,000 pesos. How many PPE can he buy using this amount? The prices of PPE depends on its brand. Study the table of prices for typical brands of PPE. The price of brand A is 1,500 pesos. You can buy 10 pieces. For brand B, 1,000 pesos. You can buy 15 pieces. For brand C, the price is 750 pesos and you can buy 20 pieces. While brand D, the price is 500, you can buy 30 pieces. Therefore, the number of PPE he can buy using 15,000 pesos Floating allowance depends on the brand of PPE he prefers. 
Problem 2. Mr. and Mrs. Hernandez own a laundry shop. They had 134 customers this week. This is 18 fewer than last week since it is pandemic. Write an algebraic equation for the number of customers they had last week. Let's see be the number of customers they had last week. Translate 18 fewer than the number of customers last week is 134. And that is C minus 18 equals 134. For the, for the algebraic equation, C minus 18 equals 134. Let us solve the equation. C minus 18 equals 134. And that is C minus 18 plus 18 equals 134. Plus 18. Adding the additive inverse of minus 18, that is adding 18 on both sides to cancel out minus 18, since 18 minus 18 equals 0. Therefore, C equals 116. Therefore, they had. 116 customers last week. The four basic rules for solving an equation. Number one, addition property of equality. If the same quantity is added to both sides of an equation, the resulting equation is equivalent to the original equation. Example: x minus six equals sixteen. Add six to both sides, and that is x minus six plus six equals sixteen plus six. Minus six plus six equals zero. So the answer is x equals twenty-two. The second is. Subtraction property of equality. If the same quantity is subtracted from both sides, the resulting equation is equivalent to the original. Example: x plus six equals sixteen. Subtract both sides by six, and that is x plus six minus six equals sixteen. Minus six. Six minus six equals zero. So the answer is x equals ten. Third, multiplication property of equality. If both sides of an equation are multiplied by the same non-zero quantity, the resulting equation is equivalent to the original equation. Example: x divided by five equals five. Multiply both sides by five. Cancel five. Then sa kabila, fifteen times five. So x equals seventy-five. The fourth is division property of equality. If both sides of an equation are divided by the same non-zero quantity, the resulting equation is equivalent to the original equation. Example: 5x equals 15. Divide both sides by 5, and that is 5x over 5 equals 15 over 5, and the x is. Three. Let's try to translate and solve the following equation. I am six years older than twice the age of my youngest sister. If I were sixty-six years old, how old is my youngest sister? Let x be her youngest sister's age. And the algebraic equation is six 
plus 2x equals 66. Help us solve. 6 plus 2x equals 66. And that is minus 6 plus 6 plus 2x equals 66 minus 6. Applying subtraction property of equality. So, becomes 2x minus, divided by 2 equals 60 divided by 2. Applying division property of equality. Therefore, the value of x is 30. Learning task 1. Translate the following into equation, then solve. Number 1. If tracer number is increased by 11, the result is 35. What is the number? The equation is 3x plus 11 equals 35. 3x plus 11 minus 11 equals 35 minus 11. Subtract both sides by 11. And that is 3x divided by 3 equals 24 divided by 3. Division property of equality. x equals 8. Number 2. If twice a number is decreased by 13, the result is 9. What is the number? The equation is 2x minus 13 equals 9. 2x minus 13 plus 13 equals 9 plus 13. Add both sides by 13. Then 2x divided by 2 equals 22 divided by 2. Division property of equality then x equals 11. Then it's your turn. Answer number 3, 4, and 5. For your learning task 2, solve the following equation using the four basic rule in solving equation. Number 1, 2x plus 4 equals 16. 2x plus 4 minus 4 equals 16 minus 4. Subtract both sides by 4. Then, division property of equality. 2x divided by 2 equals 12 divided by 2. The value of x is 6. Number 2. 68 equals 3y minus 4. What is the value of y? 68 plus 4 equals 3y minus 4 plus 4. Add both sides by 4. Then 72 divided by 3 equals... 3y divided by 3. And the value of y is 24. For number 3, n divided by 4 equals 17. Multiply both sides by 4. 4 Cancel another 4. Sa kabilang side, 15 times 4. So therefore, the value of x equals 60. Then it's your time to answer number 4 up to number 10. Good luck! Learning task 3. Translate its problem into a mathematical equation. Then solve. I am 24 years old 
My age is 2 less than twice my sister's age. The equation is 24 minus 2 equals n times 2. Therefore, 24 minus 2 divided by 2 equals n times 2 divided by 2. Divide both sides by 2. Then 22 divided by 2 equals n. Therefore, n equals 11. For number 2, Arvin has a bake shop. He sold 85 cakes today. That is 16 cakes fewer than yesterday. How many cakes did he sell yesterday? The mathematical equation is 85 minus 16 equals n. And the value of n is 16. Then it's your turn. Kindly answer number 3, 4, and 5. Then for your learning task 4, write an equation for its problem, then solve it. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Hanggang sa susunod nating video, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago nating videos. Salamat sa inyong mga comment at sa inyong like. Nawain nyo rin itong i-share sa iba. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!